tips and tricks for hair removal. Now this is at a perfect length right now. It went from being shaved, which was very hard to touch. You know what, like coarse, you know, freshly shaved feels like. It's not good to touch. So just having it long enough that it hugs the body. Now I understand he gets a little bit heavier. So, you know, what we do is we trim it slightly a man's chest should always look ungroomed. It shouldn't be too comb over scissor or too tightly groomed. Um, so I don't like shaving it because it comes back in too abrupt. I do think if you want to remove it completely, waxing is probably your best bet um, because it comes back in much softer. So if you wax the hair, it, it's much more pleasant to touch when it grows back in because when you shave the hair, it blunts out the tip. So you're shaving it and it's growing and it's growing very blunt. But when you pull it out from the root, it's growing out really soft. It has a soft tip. So there is a myth that if you wax it, that it comes back thicker. It's not true because the, the, the thickness of the hair is already established by the already existing follicle. It should always feel good. It should always be approachable. Um, you know, if it gets really opaque in some areas, that's where you want to sort of dive into it and, and lean it out a little bit, but you don't want it to look too manicured. And one of the tricks up here is to always leave the Adam's apple area underneath the Adam's apple. This area, you want to keep it free of hair. So what I suggest is you hold down the chest hair and you dive under and you clean this area and then you let that come up natural. So you need to keep a certain amount of hair gone between here and facial hair. And also another thing is like fading out this line a little bit. So that's a part of body hair going right up into the neck. You wanna make sure there aren't any lines. Nice, 